Not to sound like Sophia from the Golden Girls, but picture it. The Plymouth Settlement, 1621. The pilgrims who had endured such hardship and hunger were celebrating life and that year's bumper crop. Well, all that corn didn't grow itself. They were taught how to farm and fish by an Indian named Squanto. In exchange, they taught him to speak English. Well, I'm sure that was a useful skill for him. It's a pretty small price for the pilgrims to pay for their survival. Squanto's life story sounds like an action-adventure movie. He narrowly escaped being sold into slavery, was the lone survivor of a smallpox outbreak, and was taken all the way to England but made it back home to Plymouth. As I'm sure you know, the reality of that first Thanksgiving in no way resembled a big happy family of pilgrims and Indians. But one thing is true. Two groups of very different people found some common ground with a little help from Squanto. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And that's a page from my notebook. I'm Katie Couric, CBS News.